Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a nice little haul video for you guys. Now uh, most of it is coloring related but I do have a few other things that I will show you guys. So uh, as I said in my last video when I did the flip through of the Zentangle uh, book that I got for review I am officially back for my training, and we have, uh, for those of you that do not know, I have my new dog. His name is Alex. His full name is Alexander Graham Bell, uh, but we call him Alex. His puppy raisers actually raise all male golden retrievers, and they name them after influential people. So I got the one with the coolest name ever. I kid you not. And for those of you that have been keeping track of my channel, I actually did a video that I put up of uh, me uh, me meeting Alex, you know, for the first time. And there's also a couple of other uh, leader dog related videos that are up. So you can just go on my channel and just kind of scroll down a little bit. They're not too far down. I have not really been able to put up too much over the last few weeks due to being just so busy with the training and all that. So um, if you just go to my channel and scroll down, you'll be able to find them easily. They're called leader dog vlog number one, which is me just showing where I was staying for the two and a half, three weeks that I was there. Number two is me actually meeting Alex, and the number three is the equipment and stuff that we use for the dogs. So if you want to see any more of the leader dog stuff, just let me know because I can try to get a video of, of him, him working so you guys can get a little bit more of an idea. If you have any questions about that, just leave that in the comments. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on with the haul. So we'll start with the coloring stuff, and then at the last part I will show you a few of the other things I got. It's crochet related, so um, I know you guys are here for the coloring, and then I'll just I'll save the crochet stuff for last. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get on with it. Okay, so first of all, now I do have quite a few coloring books, and I do have a few other things coming that are going to be on the way, but they're not going to be here till tomorrow. So what I thought I would do is just show you what I do have right now, and then I'll make a separate video of the things that will be coming later because I, I do have I do have quite a few things now, and then just a few more things will be coming. So there's there's actually two separate hauls in here. Um, the first few things that I got was some things that I got when I was at Leader Dog that I have not been able to show you guys due to just time constraints and um, the computer. I had was just woefully woefully slow so it was really hard to edit any kind of video anyway but I did get a few books while I was at leader dog so uh, now you're gonna be kind of seeing a theme here and when you see the first two books you're gonna figure out why okay so the first one is going to be called happy hour and so this one is just a book of like different drinks there's wine and spirits and all that um, so here's uh, I think this is a martini or something that's that's on the front of here uh, but anyway, here's the back of it. There's a little blurb on the back here, so you can go ahead and pause the video and read that if you want to, but it's got a few of the pictures and stuff inside and, and so forth. So I'll just kind of show you just a few of the pages in this one. Um, I will leave links to everything on Amazon, so you can... Uh, look at those links if you want to. Now, just as a little disclaimer, I am an Amazon affiliate, so anything that um, that that uh, comes back, like if you guys uh, decide to purchase anything from my links, hi Alex, <laughs> if you guys decide to purchase anything from my links, um, I do get a small little kickback, and oh my gosh, we have an Alex here, let me just, let me just show you guys, there's Alex, hey Alex, <coughs> Alex, come over this way buddy, there's a turbo there, come over here buddy, Alex, <laughs> Hi Turbo. He's a little he's a little scared because of the because of the storms, but let me just Hey Alex. There, buddy. Okay, guys, there's Caleb. 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 There he is. And there's a Turbo. Hi Turbo. Try to zoom out just a little bit. There's a Turbo. And there's an Alex. And there's a Caleb sleeping. All right, so there's your doggy fix for the day. So let's go ahead and get on with the <laughs> with the haul video here. All right, so I'll just show you guys a few of the pages in here. Um, it's just, as I said, just different pictures of, of drinks and stuff. Here's a page that you can color with some information. Um, this one here is just some 
stuff about the book and, and how you may want to color it and so forth. Um, just kind of an informational page. And now some of these have some different patterns and things in here, but a lot of it is just pictures of different drinks and stuff that you can color. I'll show you just a few of the pages. I'll do a flip through of this if you guys want. Uh, some of it is pretty simple. Some of it's a little bit more uh, detailed and stuff, but anyway, here's a few of the pages in that book. Number two is called Wine Time. And this one here is, is a coloring book for adults, and it is by Rachel Jones, okay? Now, this is, if you're a wine lover, this is the great book for you because it's got anything wine-related. It's got a little blurb on the back, and it's uh, um, the writing is a little small, so I'm not going to read it, but it's got a little picture there, and I'll just give you a few of the pages here. Now the paper in the last one isn't great. The paper in here is a little better. So sometimes the paper in these books just aren't really great, but um, at least it is single-sided. And so if you want to use like um, markers or whatever on it, you can just put some cardstock in between your pages to protect the following image. But this has got, I mean, everything wine related. See, it's got um, where you can color, uh, some of them are, are kind of difficult, but it's got like little, uh, just kind of like little bubbles and stuff in there a little bit, and just different things coming out of the wine glass that you can color. It's kind of neat. It really is. Um, so it's not just your glass of wine and, and just trying to color in the wine. They've, they've actually got some other stuff to color in too, which is awesome. So here's just a few of the pages in that book. Some of them are a little bit more detailed than others, but if you're a wine lover, you will enjoy that book, I think. The next one is called Wine Time 2, and it says a coloring book for adults, and it's also by Rachel Jones. And this is pretty much just a continuation of Wine Time. Again, you get a little blurb on the back. And um, again, this is going to be single-sided pages, so it's just a continuation, as I said, of what we had in the first Wine Time book. It's just kind of a call it a sequel or just more pictures and, and so forth. But um, again, the paper isn't the greatest, but um, it's great for colored pencils. It's not that Create Space paper. It feels a lot smoother and a lot nicer than the Create Space paper, but um, it it's still kind of thin. Um, so just be mindful of what you use in the book. It's single-sided, so at least, as I said, you can use other mediums on it. Just be careful how much water you use because you may tear up the paper because it is kind of thin. So just be mindful of that and then put something in between your pages to protect your following image. So again, some easy ones, some more detailed ones, but wine lovers, go. <laughs> because these are some great books for if, you, uh, if you're into um, wine. And I enjoy wine. I really do. Okay, next book, and as I said, you're going to be seeing a kind of similar theme here <laughs> because of the because of the different things I got. So um, this one is called Wine Life, and it's a snarky adult coloring book. It says, and then there's a little thing on here. You, it says, you had me at Merlot, and this one, um, I'm trying to think if there is an author on here. I think it's all different. Um, I think it's all different kinds of authors. It's put out by uh, Papa pa 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 Oh boy, forget it. I, I am not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Anyway, I think this is the company that put that out. <laughs> Read it for yourself. Try to pronounce it for yourself if you want. But yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, this has got just some different quotes and things in it. Um, this paper is not great. I think this one feels like it's on Create Space paper. Um, but what's really nice is you get the black background on the left-hand side of the page. It's single-sided designs. And there's some really cool stuff in here. There's a lot of quotes, you know, kind of this would have been really great for my snarky and scary color along that I had. And I'll just give you a few of the pages, but you got a lot of quotes in here about wine you got like different wine glasses and just different wine related things wine bottles corkscrews that kind of stuff in here so it's it's pretty cool um and as i said if you decide to use other mediums on it just put something in between your pages to protect your next image 
Um, but it really does help to have that black background there, kind of like what you see in the Jade Summer books, actually. So just a few of the pages there, okay? Again, another quote. So it's, it's pretty cool. If you're kind of into the snarky and if you want something just kind of smart-alecky and if you like wine, this would be kind of a funny book for you guys to color in if you like it. All right, so the next grouping of stuff is things that came in from Amazon yesterday. And as I said, more will be coming that I will make another separate video for you guys. Okay, so this one is from Creative Haven. This is Vintage Christmas Windows. And this one just kind of came recommended as I was doing some shopping. I like the Creative Haven and Dover books because they're very inexpensive and you do get some great pictures in it. Uh, and I like Christmas. <laughs> I like Christmas better than I do Halloween. I know a lot of people love Halloween and that's perfectly fine, but I happen to enjoy Christmas. So I tend to get more Christmas books than um, any other holiday related stuff with the exception of maybe Valentine's Day because I love, um, I'm such a sucker for the romance and the hearts and the, and the love and all that. But anyway, this is, this is Christmas related. So it's just like different kind of maybe stained glass windows that you may see in the churches or, uh, you know, just some different, um, well, vintage Christmas windows. <laughs> so here's just a few of the pages and they look pretty detailed. They actually look quite challenging to do. So they may take you quite a while to do these, but here's an example of how you can do one of the pictures. And again, here's that on the front side of the book there too. You get some inspiration, which is really nice. Okay. So there's Vintage Christmas Windows by Creative Haven um, Publishing. Okay. Next we have Hansel and Gretel by Fabiana Atanasio. Woohoo! Now um, she came out with this one as well as the Cinderella one. And I have not been able to get my hands on the Cinderella one. Um, I'm not real happy with Amazon at the moment because I pre-ordered that thing. You know, once I knew it was coming out, I pre-ordered that thing. But apparently uh, everybody that goes coloring Gaga went Gaga over that one. And so they didn't have enough in stock, I guess. And I was one of the ones that didn't get it. Um, um, and my order got canceled. So I am not very happy about that at the moment, but at least I did get the Hansel and Gretel. I will be keeping my eye out for the Cinderella one because I will be getting my hands on that one, hopefully. Um, I'm going to be persistent. <laughs> all right, so um, here is the Hansel and Gretel by Fabiana. Now, as all of her books do, she has a removable poster in the back. You can flip open that cover and color that if you want to. And it's got the same thing on the front. I mean, not the poster, because you just get one poster. But you can flip that out and color that front page right there. And let me just flip through just a few of the pages. It's double-sided, like all of her books, but this paper is very, very, very nice. Um, I really like the story of Hansel and Gretel. Um, so I'm going to really enjoy this book. I enjoy all of her books. I really, 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 really do. I think she's an amazing, amazing artist. The paper quality in these books is absolutely wonderful. And it they're just amazing books. And I like that you get that removable poster. <laughs> so you get that added bonus. But here's a few of the pages in the Hansel and Gretel book. Okay. Our next book is called Chibi Girls Volume 2 by Jade Summer. And this one is pretty thick. Now, I do have the original Chibi Girls, okay? Um, and this one seems a little bit thicker than the original one. I think there may be more pages in it. I know in her books you get two of everything. Um, and so let me just flip through a few of the pages for you guys. So you get, you get pretty much everything that you get in the Jade Summer book. Without her, without the picture of the of the girl in there, um, the representation I guess of, of Jade Summer, but um, you do get uh, single sided pages, and you also get the black backgrounds on the left side as many Jade Summer books has. I think all of them do, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have as many Jade Summer books as Grace does, but the ones that I do have, I do know that there are the black background pages on the left. Again, it's this Create Space paper, so it's not the greatest. I do want to download all the PDFs of uh, Jade Summers books that I do have. That way I can print off the ones I want on better paper, like cardstock, and actually watercolor on it. <laughs> but yeah, so here's a few of the pictures in the, in the Chibi Girls book, or Chibi Girls Volume 2 book by Jade Summer. 
Then our next book is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Bassford. So I did decide to go ahead and get her new book because I have everything else of hers except for the postcards. I did not order her postcard book. I did get the planner, the 2016-2017 the planner, um, but I've not colored in any of the pages yet. Some of those are very, very tiny, so it's kind of hard to do, but I did want to get that for posterity's sake. But so really the only stuff of hers is I don't have uh, the postcard books edition of her books and I don't have, I've only got like one artist edition of her book um, and that's the um, Secret Garden. I do want to get all the other artist editions because I think the paper on those is very, very nice. So this is her newest book. Now instead of the removable jacket, she's got the flip out cover that you can color in. And same thing on the back. Okay, just flip it out. You can color in that right there. So let me just show you a few of the pages in this. You get a title page. Now the paper in here is very thick. It's very thick, actually. It's really nice. But this one, I guess, follows an actual story. It is double-sided, but a lot of it is, like, you're going to see the story and, you know, just a couple of little pictures and stuff to color. But it does follow a story, which is really nice, but the paper in here is wonderful. I really like the paper in here. So it's going to be fun to actually read this as well as color it. And then, again, you know, her stuff is very detailed, so it's going to take you a while to actually get through it and color it. But I love how thick this book is, and I love the fact that it follows a story. You can actually read while you color that, and then there's some uh, coloring you can do on the pages with the words. So I, you know, and there's looks like a man, mandala style right there. So I really... I'm glad that I picked this book up uh, simply because I do love Johanna Bassford, although her stuff is very, very, very detailed and it takes it takes you a while to do. But nobody ever said that you had to win a race when you're coloring. So that's that. And last but certainly not least is Color Me Fearless. And it says nearly 100 coloring templates to boost strength and courage. And it's by Lacey Macklow who is the, um, uh, she's like the um, art therapist person that kind of consulted on this. And then the illust it's illustrated by Angela Porter, okay? So it's in the same series as like the Color Me Calm, the Color Me Happy, Color Me to Sleep. Um, now I have Color Me Calm, Color Me Happy, Color Me to Sleep, and now I have the Color Me Fearless. And I think that... Um, there may be one or two more in the series. I am not sure. I will have to look. I also know that there are some portable versions of the book, which means that they're a lot smaller than this or they're travel size. And I don't think you get, I don't think you get all the designs in the, in the travel books. I could be wrong, but I don't know. I just know that they're a lot smaller and just much easier to cart around with you if you're going to travel. But um, I'll have to check and see if there's more in the series. But I do have at least four of the ones that I know of that are in this series. So let me just show you the back of it. And it's it's a really thick book. Now I do know that the paper in here is glossy. It is it's a soft book, but it's a soft cover book, but it's it feels like it's been reinforced with like, you know, just some other backing and stuff. So it's not real flimsy flimsy. Okay. So again, it's gonna be like the others, you get the table of contents with sections and you get the introduction on how you can color the book and stuff. Um, so you just, you got different sections in it and you get the nice little colors on the outside of the page to make it look pretty. Okay, I'll just flip through a few of the, the pages. So this is this nice glossy paper that if you have the series you're familiar with, it's single sided, but you do get like some little little kind of designs, I guess, kind of on the left-hand side of the page right there that you could do stuff with. Um, but yeah, so let me just show you a few more of the pages. It's, as I said, broken up into the sections and each section is discussed in detail by the authors, okay? So quite a few different designs that you can color in here. So that is Color Me Fearless. And let me go ahead and get the 
other stuff that I got that wraps up all the coloring stuff that I got in this haul. But let me go ahead and grab the crochet stuff and I will be right back to show that to you guys. Okay guys, so I got three skeins each of this Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Uh, I got three each of this red, a cherry red, and then I got three uh, three of this soft white and the reason I got that was because I did not have any room <laughs> to take any of my yarn with me when I was flying to leader dog so I decided to just go ahead and get some now I kind of regret actually doing that on Amazon because it was kind of expensive I probably could have got it cheaper so I think I paid just way too much for it but um, I did have it anyway and so I decided to go ahead and start making a blanket an afghan so let me just show you what i have done on it so far now i have been working on it over the last few weeks um, i got a little bit of it done when i was at leader dog and then uh, we had to be out of town again for a couple days last week so i worked on it as we rode on our charter bus we had like five hours there five hours back so i had quite a bit of time to work on this but here is what it looks like so far it's going to be the size of a full-size bed but um, i kind of got it folded over right now but as you can see, I'm just making um, red and white stripes, and I'm doing a row of double crochet and a row of half double crochet and just kind of alternating them. I have six rows of the red and then four rows of the white. So let me just show you actually what I am doing with this, okay? And so I've never crocheted on camera with you guys, so this is going to be the first time that I'm doing this, but I'll just do a few stitches and we can just kind of see how I am doing this, okay? So I am on my row of, of, um, of double, of half double crochets, okay? So what I do is I hope you guys can see my hands but I'm just I'm doing this all by feel I normally don't sometimes I look when I need to but um when, like if I'm watching tv or something or just listening to my book and I'm kind of just pulling out some yarn I've got it in my bag here but when I'm just listening to my book or just kind of zoning out or whatever I will just um, I'll just kind of go down the row and just you know do it all by feel you know I really don't have to look as I'm doing it but let me just do a few of the stitches and I'll show you what I do so I'm on my row of half double crochets right now and in this position it's not the best to do it in because my yarn is is uh, still in my my bag I keep the ball of yarn in the bag that way it's contained Okay, but can you guys kind of see what I'm doing a little bit? If you want me to crochet with you guys on camera, I will do that. I know some of you guys were kind of interested, but, you know, I've been doing mostly coloring stuff. You know, just it just kind of fell that way. Um, I also do journaling stuff, but if you guys would like me to crochet with you guys on camera, maybe... Maybe I can do that while I'm live streaming or something, you know, because I do want to test out some live streaming, um, but... Both coloring and crocheting are very, very relaxing. I think crocheting and knitting for some people have the same effect as coloring does for many of us as well. So sometimes when, I, when I'm not in the mood to color, I will pick up my crocheting and I will, I will do my crocheting. So this is what I do if I don't want to color and if I'm listening to my audiobook or if I'm watching TV or something or if we're taking a long trip um, I will just I'll grab something to I will grab something to crochet okay so and I'm not the fastest in the world <laughs> many of us are not and I'm probably not very fast by any kind of stretch of the mean means but um, I do what I do and the more you do it, same thing with coloring, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And the more, the quicker you get at it as well. So this is what I do when I crochet. Okay, one more. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little demo a little bit and the haul. <laughs> All right, if you want me to do more crocheting on camera, just let me know. Um, I will have a color and chat coming up as well. 
But if you want to see any crocheting or any knitting, just let me know. We can we can certainly do that. Um, this channel is very, very flexible. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a comment and tell me what you think. Any questions, just put that in the comment section. Um, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. But better yet, hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. You all have a great day and we will talk to you later. All right. Bye, guys.